So hello mga kabarikan, okay, nagbabalik ako para bigyan kayo ng bagong set ng maxima and minima problems. Itong set ng video na to, set ng problems na to, ay para sa mga shapes na automatic may magiging hugis na agad. Okay, so kumbaga, rectangle, magiging square, triangle, magiging gantong itsura, hindi na tayo masyadong magsasob ng with regards to difficult. Kuhin ko lang kalkyo ko. Okay, so para mas magets nyo, let us start <coughs> with the first problem. A triangle has variable sides x, y, z subject to the constraint such that the perimeter is fixed to 18 centimeters. What is the maximum possible area for the triangle? A triangle has variable sides x, y, z subject to the constraint such that the perimeter is fixed to 18 centimeters. What is the maximum possible area for the triangle? Okay guys, keep in mind na kapag may area tayo tapos sinabing maximum ah, pag meron tayong triangle tapos sinabing maximum area yung triangle na yan ay magiging equilateral triangle so ang equilateral triangle ay isang type ng triangle kung saan ang kanyang sides ay equal so if this is side S this is also S this is also S Sabi, meron daw tayong perimeter na 18 centimeters. So, di ba, perimeter is just the sum of all the sides. So, S plus S plus S or simply 3S. So, S is equal to 18 divided by 3, that is equal to 6 centimeters. Okay? And to get the area, so, the area of an equilateral triangle is just equal to square root of 3 over 4 times s squared. So this is equal to square root of 3 over 4 times 6 squared. This is equal to fifteen point fifty nine. Anong unit? cm squared. Okay, ito yung lagi kong sinasabi, huwag nyo nga kalimutang lagyan ng unit kasi a number without unit is meaningless. Okay, take note ha, pag may triangle, tapos sinabi, kuhain yung maximum area, yung triangle na yon ay magiging equilateral triangle. Okay, derived na po yun. Next problem. Find the maximum area of a rectangle that can be enclosed by a wire of length of 20 meters. Find the maximum area of a rectangle that can be enclosed by a wire of length of 20 meters. So, sabi sa atin, problem number 2, meron daw tayong wire na ang haba or length ay 20 meters. At yung wire na yan, ay gagamitin natin para bumuo ng rectangle na may maximum area. Remember, kapag may rectangle po tayo, tapos sinabi, bumuo para makuha yung maximum area, that rectangle will be a square. Naka-confuse ba? A square is a type of rectangle wherein all sides are equal. Okay? So, Yung 20 meters na haba ng wire na to ay gagamitin ko para makabuo ng isang rectangle. Na anong shape ng rectangle na yon? Square. So, all sides are equal. This is S, this is S, this is S, this is S. Yang 20 meters na yan is just simply the sum of all the sides or simply your perimeter. And perimeter here, here is just equal to 4S or S plus S plus S plus S. So, S is very visible to be 5 meters. Okay? And to get the formula for area of the square, hindi kayo malilito. Basahin nyo nga. S square. Okay? S square. So, this is equal to 5 cm squared. This is equal to 20, ah, sorry, 5 meters squared. This is equal to 25 meters squared. 
So, this is the maximum area of the rectangle that can be formed using a 20 meter length of wire. Okay, recap. Pag triangle, magiging equilateral triangle. Kapag rectangle, magiging square. So, copy. Okay, third problem. Actually, follow-up question to ng second problem natin. Find the maximum area of a right triangle that can be enclosed by a wire of length of 20 meters. Find the maximum area of a right triangle that can be enclosed by a wire of length of 20 meters. So, kung kanina, rectangle yung bubuoy natin, this time, right triangle. So, kapag meron ka namang right triangle, tapos sabi, buuin mo daw para maging maximum yung area, that right triangle will become a isosceles right triangle. So, kapag sinabi po natin isosceles right triangle, yan ay right triangle pa din naman na isosceles. Ibig sabihin, both sides or two sides are equal in length. Okay? Diba? Sa right triangle, meron tayong tinatawag na hypotenuse or yung longest side natin. And makukuha natin yung hypotenuse gamit ang Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So, this length is equal to X squared plus X squared or simply square root of, I'm sorry, So, this is equal to 2x squared. Extract ko yung root. This side is equal to x square root of 2. So, ang haba pala ng side na to, redraw ko lang, ay x square root of 2. Okay? Again, meron po tayong wire na 20 meters yung haba. And gagamitin natin yan para mabuo ang shape na ito. So, basically, this 20 meter is the parameter, per, parameter, perimeter of this triangle. So, perimeter is just the sum of all the sides. So, x plus x, that is 2x, plus x square root of 2. And what is the length of perimeter? 20 meters. So, what we have here is x quantity 2 plus square root of 2 equals 20 meters. So, x is equal to 20 over 2 plus square root of 2 meters. Okay? And you were asked to find the area. So, area is just 1 half base times height. So, base times height. Base times height. So, x tapos ano yung height? x then. So, this is equal to 1 half x squared. So, 1 half 20 over 2 plus square root of 2 squared. Pagkuhin natin. This is equal to 17.16 meter squared. So, ito po yung area ng ating right triangle kapag bubuo, uh, pag bubuo tayo ng right triangle na ang perimeter ay 20 meters. So, recall, triangle magiging equilateral triangle, rectangle magiging square, tapos right triangle magiging isosceles right triangle. Paano kaya kapag yung follow-up question pa dito sa problem na to? So, sabi dun sa problem, Find the maximum area that can be enclosed by a wire of length of 20 meters. Find the maximum area that can be enclosed by a wire of length of 20 meters. May sinabing shape? Wala po. Kapag walang sinabing shape, tandaan natin, tapos maximum area, lagi po yan ay circle. 
Okay? Kapag walang sinabing shape, tapos maximum area, circle po. Okay? So, meron akong 20 meters na haba ng wire. And, bubuoin ko yan, or bubuoin ko para maging circle. So, yung circle natin, yung paligid na yan, pag measure ko 20 meters. Anong tawag dito? Perimeter, yes. Pero, kapag circle, ang tawag natin doon ay circumference. Okay? At kapag circle, ang formula ng circumference ay 2 pi r. So, circumference or the perimeter of the circle is equal to 20 meters equals 2 pi r. r is equal to 10 over pi meters. And to get the formula or to get the area for circle, you have pi r squared. So, what we have here is 10 10 over pi squared. So, this is equal to 100 over pi meter squared or thirty one point eighty three meter squared. So kung napansin ninyo thirty one point eighty three versus seventeen point sixteen versus yung kanina na twenty five meter squared talagang pinakamalaki yung area natin kapag circle. Okay? Tandaan nyo, kapag dinadamihan natin yung sides, mas lumalaki yung area natin. E meron bang number of sides ang circle? Yes. Circle has infinite number of sides. Kung natandaan nyo, kapag nag-o-autocad kayo ng college, ah, kapag zoom in nyo yung sa circle, meron siyang maliliit na linya dito na hindi na masyadong visible. Kaya nga, infinite number of sides ang circle. Okay? So, pag sinabing maximum area, walang sinabing shape, matik, ano magiging shape? Circle po. Okay? So, please, top